have we got the woman for you. Yeah, she is the passion coach. She's a sex therapist. Dr. Cheryl Fraser is joining us. And we're going to talk about a lot of things, including her seminar called Become Hello. Passion. Hello, darling. How are you? I am great. I don't suffer from the hangover because I, I have passion 365 days a year. Okay, you, what is it about Valentine's Day? The pressure, oof. the everything, that people are in a panic. Maybe right a there, it's the pressure. Um, you know, for a few people, it's just an extension of their natural year-long time where they're good to each other and it's a chance to do something a little bit special and that yeah. goes very well. Maybe 3%. It is so simple, but it's overlooked. Write a little note, and this is for people who think they're not eloquent and I can't say it. Just say, the reason you mean something to me is and list a couple of things. That, I mean, come on. You got the, the intimacy, day. which is your trust, your being known, and as somebody says, you know, the last person you're always gonna call at the end of the day when you're on the road. Yeah. It's there important you go. stuff. I avoid ever telling people, you really need to work on your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. And if you're single, it, you're gonna take these skills out, and frankly, you're gonna be more judicious in your dating. Yes. You'll be That's a great question, because what we find is with marriage therapy and sex therapy, generally people wait seven years, so they've had these difficulties escalating for seven years before they come for treatment, which is obviously a serious problem. And then after an hour or two once a week, people say, well, it's not changing. So, you know, the idea is to get people into some intensive work instead, and that's what I try oh, to do. That's scary. Okay, when you say intensive, yeah. what does that mean, though? How, um, what are you going to do to I mean, these people? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, exactly. It's what is going on? There's a very big myth that the passion can't last forever. Of course it can't, uh, right? Da, da, da. Slap. If we work no. on it, it can stay right, for the right. whole Like I say, it's a bit like saying, oh, this delicious truffle won't taste good today because I've had 400 of them over the past 40 years. Well, that's just silly. But when it comes to love and passion and sexuality, we have this assumption, this terrible myth, that, but it's not supposed to last. It's not supposed to feel that good this anymore. This is normal. So we don't try to uh, recultivate it. Okay. It's not dead. It's just sort of slumbering underground, okay. and we can uncover it.